We'll make these guys in the next, I think. Uh, I call these tube adapters. You basically slide your steam pipe into here and this boss here is getting soldered into the main valve body. Uh, just makes for a nicer seam. That's exactly what they did on the original. You can see them quite a lot on this design. Everywhere basically where you need a connection to a tube somewhere. And uh, we're going to make seven of these. Great job for the little Emco again, however I will pre-rough the 6mm outside diameter on the bigger lathe because I only have 10mm stock, that should be fun. Here's a pro tip, if you just finished machining brass on your lathe and your machine looks like this, especially the precision components like V-ways, dovetails and lead screws, um, don't clean them. Brass is a bearing material and that will fill out all the voids inside the nuts and counterparts and will actually improve the precision of your machine. <laughs> Man, I wish the world worked that way. Okay, with the tube adapters done, let's now focus on the front part here which gets screwed into the cylinder cap. That's the cylinder oiler. Doll had an early and a late design on this. I opted for the late design, not only because it's easier to build, but also because I think it looks nicer. The weird trumpet in front with the uh, cylinder drain cock, not really my thing. So. Um, as you can see, we need some square stock for that, which I'm going to make out of 10mm round. Uh, we'll also need square for the crossheads on the valve and the piston. So yeah, we'll make an extra length for that, so that we have some extra material to do those later. To the shaper, let's go! Well, now that everything is nice and squared up, let's uh, machine it round again. Since the four jars are already on the lathe, and you and I both know what an effort it is to change these on this machine, um, I decided let's make the parts out of 7mm square that we need and uh, move on with the rest of the oilers for the cylinders later.
Okay, I got my nails polished and the parts too. Uh, these are all the parts that need a square somewhere on them. Uh, this one here being for the governor. Uh, these two of course get screwed into the cylinder end caps. And this is the T-junction for the inlet steam. And the rest is uh, for the valves and the water pump and the pistons the crossheads. Gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the tap and die thread fit here. I mean look at this, they're not binding but they're nice and tight. I wasn't used to that earlier on, I always had them as kinda sloppy fits. Maybe it has to do with the quality of uh, tap and dies I used earlier. Up next the oilers. So the cylinders arrived back from polishing. Massive thanks to Peter for doing this magnificent job. Um, it is only now that I realize I have no footage whatsoever of assembling the cylinders with the end caps and the oilers. Neither do I have anything of rough turning the pistons. These long stainless steel shavings are all that remain as proof. Um, for now we'll have to continue on with uh, finish polishing the cylinders and go from there. Okay, so that's where we are now. You saw me move the pistons with pure lung power there. And as you can see, they're moving nice and freely and have compression when you lock the valve. And I couldn't be more happy with it. Last part in this video will be the crosshead guide. Um, I'll make it out of two parts, silver solder them together. It's just way too easy to machine this part on the lathe. Save ourselves some work. So, after having spent quite some time on polishing these guys up, I'm now to a point where I say I'm satisfied. You can see this one here is a bit crooked. I think during soldering I must have slipped somehow. But uh, that's okay because they get mounted at an angle anyways. You won't be able to see that. What also happened during soldering is 
somehow this ring, these rings expanded and stayed that way and now the one's close fit on here is uh, pretty loose. What I hope will happen since both these guys get nickel plated is that they'll shrink onto each other again. Um, if not we can always do a bodge job on it or machine new ones I guess. And here they are mounted on the cross heads and they seem to work just fine. And that shall conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed and you join in next time when we're matching up the pistons and the crankshaft. This is going to be exciting. All it's needing then is the governor and the water pump. <laughs> we're making so much progress, it's almost frightening. Thanks for watching, bye bye.